Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates to models but loves front end development. In today's video, you will learn how to set up Webpack 2 to load your bug or J templates and how to load all the necessary loaders. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to watch all the other Webpack 2 tutorials. In all my previous Webpack tutorials, we included index HTML, just a simple template. And a lot of you ask me how to use the pack or Jade template. So in this video, we will cover exactly that. For those of you who are not familiar with pack, pack is a robust, elegant, feature-rich template engine for Node.js. Okay, so the difference is that you can use some weird syntax and completely omit the HTML tags and just indent everything. And then you will need pack HTML loader that will convert that to HTML, which the browser will understand. Okay, so let's see how we can configure this with our index HTML. Here is our index HTML, which is a static index HTML and we'll try to change this to pack. Okay, so we rename this to be pack. Remember, we're editing inside of the source folder, not the dist folder. If you have any files there, make sure you're editing the source folder. We changed it to pack and then it starts complaining. So let's quit the build and try it, run it again. npm run dev. We should see, we should get error again because we need to do a few things. First thing we'll get an error is that we can't resolve the entry point index HTML because that file doesn't exist. So inside of here, we are defining index HTML for our template. We'll change that to pack. And now we should get an error complaining that Webpack doesn't understand. It doesn't complain. So what is it serving to us? Okay, Webpack 2. Alrighty, it looks like it's not complaining, but if we try to include some pack syntax in here, see what kind of error we would get. So let's copy this doc type from the pack documentation. We'll paste it inside of our index pack. And if we load this in the browser, we see that it just loads as one long string of text. Okay, so this is not really converted to browser understandable HTML. And for that, we need to install a couple things. Let's go back to the VS code, quit the build, and we'll install a few things. We'll install the pack and pack hyphen HTML loader. Now we can go back to the Webpack config, scroll a little bit up and we'll need to create a new rule for the pack files. Okay, so let's copy the JS file. Declaration, change the .js to .pack. We can get rid of the exclude node modules and this time we want to use the pack HTML loader. Okay. That should be all we need. So let's see if we run it now, what we'll get in a browser. Okay, and now as you can see, we've got a HTML template, which is generated from the pack template, and it's also including the bundle.js. So this is what we wanted, h1 becomes h1, and we have the proper HTML structure. Now let's try to add a couple more things inside of the index pack. Let's say we have a header inside of another template. So let's try to use the include and we want to include a file from includes slash header dot pack. Okay, so this will be a new template and we'll create it again in the source folder called the header dot pack and we'll create a new folder includes 
and move the header inside of the pack. Now we should include includes header pack and that should resolve into the right place. Here we just want to have h1 high from the included file. Okay, let's see if this works. I'll quit the build, run it again. And we've got the header or the h1 included from extra external file. Okay, so that's what's the, what's the benefit of Jade or Pack templates that you can split one file into multiple includes and then run them and include them inside of each other. Okay, so that's how you would configure your project if you're working with uh, Pack templates. So hopefully I didn't miss anything. But let me know if you've got any questions related to pack templates and Webpack 2. And that's it all for today. Hope you now know exactly how to take your pack templates, how to import individual parts of your templates and how to use the pack loader inside of the Webpack 2 configuration file. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and watch all the other Webpack 2 tutorials. Until next time, happy coding, bye!